Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about one ZFS weakness that's related to its memory usage. Let's see whether you can guess it right in the next screen. It's not the dedupe. Actually, I'm going to talk about the MMAP weakness. As you know, the Linux page cache and the ZFS arc cache, they are not unified. And when applications use MMAP or send file, the data blocks get duplicated in memory. And as a result, the memory is wasted by double buffering. This problem is not only in Linux, but also common to all plat platforms. Let's see how the CrossMeta ZFS removes this MMAP weakness. By making use of this arc loan buffer mechanism, we can simply make references to pages in the loan buffer instead of copying them in the page cache. And when the Linux page cache drops the references, the loan buffer is returned to the arc. This feature can be controlled by a module parameter, ZFS MMAP zero copy. Let's see this in action in a demo. So this is what the demo is going to be. We try to copy one 2GB IOSA file to the ZFS file system. And you make use of md 5 sum program, which uses the normal file API. And then again, we try to make use of a program that uses MMAP instead of the file API to calculate the md 5 ash. So we will see that the memory gets doubled in its normal case. And in case of ZFS MMAP zero copy to enabled, the MMAP will not double the memory usage. So let's go to the system for the demo. So I have a simple VM that has a free memory of 7 GB right now. So I'm going to start load the ZFS module with the zero copy turned off for a map. So the argument zero is to turn off the zero copy. So I have a zpool test pool and then a file system test fs. Let's try to copy that ISO file over here. So we see that the ZFS used about 3 GB of memory and uh, the source file system used about 2 GB for the page cache. So the MD5 sum is a normal program that's reading the file using the file system call. So there is no change after that. Now let's try to use another program which makes use of MMAP to show the problem. So this is a simple program which opens a file and MMAPs it and then calculates the MD5 hash. Let's try running again with this program.
So let's look at the memory status right now. Wow, so we see that the memory, free memory dropped to 1 GB and the cache just doubled. Let's repeat this operation with the zero copy enabled. So I'm going to remove everything. Remove the module. Reload the module with the zero copy enabled. So I have the same new Z pool with, with the test FS. So I'm gonna just repeat the operation. which is pretty much the same with the um, free memory of 4 GB. Like here. Now let's try to use the program which does a map on it. So now we see that the free memory hasn't changed. So we still have the 4 GB even after a map operation. Whereas without the zero copy, the free memory dropped to 1 GB. Like here. So this concludes our demo of zero copy with CFS. Thank you for watching.